newspaper from Ibrox Park. And on match days, the subway brings thousands of fans to see the game. The trickiest days by far are those when the two big Glasgow teams, Rangers and Celtic, meet to fight it out. As all the world knows, Celtic colours are green, and there's not much you can do to disguise a standard issue green uniform. The one wish common to all green staff on those occasions is for a draw at least. The green staff have their own football tactics at Copeland Road. Football fans of all shapes, sizes and temperaments pass through the station on the way to Ragame. It's not too bad taking them to the match, They'll all arrive by the train load in a steady stream. But while the fans are on the terracing, an uneasy calm falls on Copeland Road. Just time to grab a quick cuppa and prepare for the onslaught when the game finishes. Then back they come in their thousands, jubilant or disillusioned, but with one common purpose, to get on the first available subway train. When there's a big match, it can take up to two hours to clear the queues. With two booking office windows working flat out, it's simply a matter of feeding them down onto the platform and packing them onto the train as fast as possible. Off with the train to let the next one in, and so it goes on until the sea of scarves, rosettes and rattles is no more. 